conducting this project because it's the second phase of a program to try to develop standards that can be used to evaluate different types of fire mitigation techniques for addressing stovetop fires. Uh, range top fires are the leading cause of fires in residential occupancies and um, there's a number of technologies that have been created over the years to try to help uh, combat or prevent those fires from occurring. Uh, we did a phase one study which did an assessment of a lot of the technologies that are out there, looked at patents to see other technologies that might work in this area, and we did a full assessment of which ones held uh, the most promise for possibly um, addressing this issue. Uh, our work is um, taking a look at whether or not different oils or animal fats will produce different uh, levels of hazards or different levels of challenge for different um, detection technologies. And so these technologies, uh, many of them work um, on the process of either detecting um, temperature, temperature rise in the pans, trying to limit uh, what temperature the uh, cooking material in the pan can reach, trying to prevent it from reaching an auto ignition temperature is when the flame would start. Uh, some technologies can work by measuring some of the effluent that comes off of the, the, the pan. It could be smoke or possibly even um, some gases that are coming off of the, uh, of the food as it's cooking. And so we are taking a look at a range of different uh, fuels or cooking materials, uh, oils, and as I said, cooking fats um, that might be liberated from when you fry meat, for instance. The goal is to have a standardized test which new technologies as they're developing um, can then be evaluated against and with the hope that these technologies would then be incorporated uh, into people's homes, into their ranges, so that uh, they would prevent uh, accidental fires from occurring on, on kitchen cooking events.